At this level, you will be focusing on the inverted primary triangle, with the apex pointing downwards at the center of the Sri Yantra. This central triangle is called the Kamakala and is considered the most creative point in the universe. The central triangle is the first outcome or effect of the central bindu, which is the dot in the middle's energy flow. And so at this level, anything you wish to accomplish to succeed, you are granted or given the accomplishment. You see, now that you have all of this, think about, realize, and become aware of the entire package. You have to believe what you just created will give you everything that you want, whether it's mind, body, spirit, or wealth. The energy of it fits into this inner triangle. The three corners of the triangle represent three fundamental tendencies of existence. And these are desire, which is Icha, knowledge, which is Jnana, and activity, which is Kriya. Reaching this point in self-realization brings you very close to bliss. Something else that we're going to talk about in level 9 in a little bit more in detail is the Bindu. The Bindu, which is the dot in the center of the Sri Yantra. It is a very powerful thing. The Bindu is represented and literally means creation. So when you're concentrating on this, in level 9 we're actually going to talk about what happens to the Bindu to achieve that ultimate bliss. But in this level, just picture it as if it is pure creation and pure bliss. And we'll explain in level 9 how that actually works. But for this level, just really understand that the dot in the middle means creation. And combining desire, knowledge, and activity with the bindu in the middle, this is where you're creating and making everything a reality for yourself. We haven't talked about it yet. But the points where the lines of the Sri Yantra intersect, the Sangam, are also very important. Where two lines intersect is called Sandhi, and they symbolically indicate Sadhana, which is the act of union. Three lines intersecting are called Marmas, and these are vital spots in the body, where the life energy resides as well as accumulates. Because of this, the Marma has also been called the Seat of Life, or the Jiva Stana. The really fascinating part of this is that many Indian and Chinese martial artists have known about these points, which when struck can cause disability, paralysis, or even death. You may have even seen these depictions of these in like the old Bruce Lee movies or like the old Kung Fu movies. The science behind these energy points is that there's a dense accumulation of prana, or energy. And when you strike these points, they're vulnerable. And, you know, to those in the know of these points can actually strike them and cause disability. On the other hand, you can actually touch them and massage them and cure yourself. So these points in your body are very, very important. Just like I was saying, healers can actually tap into these spots with precision to channel healing energy into the body with much more efficiency than the norm. In the Sri Yantra, all the important marmas found in the human body are represented and by meditating upon them, a martial artist or healer, and sometimes even yourself, can actually access the location of every vital spot in the human body.